Spotify will fall. It's the biggest music streaming platform in the world. It is worth $38 billion, but they have a terrible business model and it's not their fault. In this video, I'm going to show you the business of Spotify and why they are destined to fail. The company was started in 2006, making billions in revenue each year, but they never had a cent of profit. Spotify revolutionized the music industry and the way we listen to music. It also helped the music industry and the regular listeners. In 1999, Napster was launched. Napster was a platform that allowed you to download and upload music. The problem was it was all pirated and had tons of viruses. So the music industry and regular music listeners suffered. Because of the copyright claims, Napster was shut down in 2002. After Napster, Apple's iTunes was launched iTunes dominated. You had a platform supported by a giant company with tons of music on it, replacing physical albums with digital ones. There was no piracy because each song was 99 cents. That was good for the music industry, but bad for the regular listeners. The downloads took too long, and if you wanted a huge library of music, you needed to pay tons of money. And if you wanted to buy a digital album, it would cost you more than the physical copy. Then some guys from Sweden thought download takes too long, and one song is 99 cents. That's dumb. So in 2008, Spotify was launched in Europe, and in 2011, it was launched in the US. For a premium version with no ads, you get unlimited streams of whatever song you want. That's good for a regular listener. And no piracy and money per stream. That's good for the music industry. So both parties win and Spotify makes billions in revenue. But that model had many flaws. In 2022, Spotify had a revenue of $12.8 billion and zero profit. For $1 Spotify makes, two thirds are paid to the music labels. So that one third of $1 or easier said 33 cents cover other costs, such as maintenance, workers, research and development, taxes, marketing, and many more which is not enough for Spotify to cover. But this is easily fixable. Spotify is huge. They can negotiate lower royalty fees with the music labels, right? Well, no. The music label industry consists of three huge companies. Universal Music Group, Warner Music Group, and Sony Music. These three work all together under a oligopoly. Reports say that these three companies own 70% of the music recording market and 60% of the music publishing market. So they just license the music to Spotify and all famous artists are under these three labels. So Spotify depends on the big three. For example, if you don't have one of the big three, you wouldn't have some major artists. And a lot of people would leave to other streaming platforms such as Apple Music, YouTube Music, Amazon Music or maybe something else. Everybody has the same songs on every platform, so there isn't a product differentiation. When everybody has the same product, the price is the most important thing. And everybody has the same price, $10.99 per month. So if Spotify increases the price, people would go to other platforms. But if they lower the price, they will have big losses. Apple, Amazon and YouTube have the same margins and problems as Spotify. But the difference between Amazon Music, YouTube Music, Apple Music and Spotify is that these three don't live of the music streams. They are there to promote products. Look at Apple. Apple Music costs $10.99 per month. Apple has a bundle called Apple One, where you have iCloud Plus, Apple TV Plus and few more for $20 per month, which is much more cheaper than buying the services individually. That makes Phil the customer that he got off cheaper. And Apple makes more money than they would by just buying one service. Google and Amazon have their own bundle. So the only way Spotify wants to be profitable with music, they would need to lower their licensing costs. One company in their beginning had a similar problem. Netflix fixed this problem by making their own content. They usually produce the content or get rights. So there are no licensing fees, improving the margins drastically. And when you look at Netflix today, more than 50% of the library is their own products. For Spotify to make their own music content, it would be really hard. I mean, imagine how expensive it would be blowing a few artists and having exclusive music. That's why they went with the podcasting route. With podcasts, Spotify can directly negotiate licensing fees with the podcast owner. There is no major podcast label like there is in music. Podcasts are still on the rise 
Spotify spent over a billion dollars for exclusive deals with famous people like Joe Rogan, Obama's, Meghan Markle, Kim Kardashian and few more. Their plan is to make exclusive podcasts so that people sign up. Yet still, there are huge problems. The Obamas switched to Audible, a company owned by Amazon. Meghan Markle was accused of faking interviews and Joe Rogan is really controversial. Spotify bought a lot of podcast studios, but in June 2023, they fired 200 people from the podcast studios. They way overspent and yet still are not profitable. The main reason Spotify went for the podcast is because the ad market is untouched and they have a lot of data. They have 574 million users in which 226 million are premium subscribers. I think that Spotify wants to go the YouTube route, helping creators make content and take a cut of that revenue. The problem with that is over 200 million users are premium subscribers and they don't want to see ads. And in the free version, you get four 30 second ads in a row. <laughs> Imagine how much you could get on podcasts. Spotify goal is to become the biggest audio company, having education, news, and audiobooks at one place. And they are prioritizing growth over profits so that they can find more ways to monetize their business to keep their investors happy. Their losses over the years add up to almost $4 billion. In the music stream business, there is no profit for them. Even Jimmy Iovine, who helped create Apple Music, said that the streaming services have a bad situation. There is no margins. They are not making any money. Spotify doesn't have a lot of chances left. If they don't figure it out, they are destined to fail. Maybe the podcast or something else saves them. Subscribe for more business content and business stories. Love you Spotify. Please figure it out.